Hello, this is Rupinder Syal and welcome to Spartan Tutorials. So COVID-19 has impacted people with different conditions pretty differently. People of different ages as well as people with different pre-existing conditions like hypertension, old age, diabetes, weakened immune systems, they have different risk factors for developing COVID-19. And one of these categories is people with diabetes, whether they have people with type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes. And there are a lot of misconceptions as well as questions and a lot of misinformation in social media regarding what to do in case of people who have diabetes and how much of the risk they have, whether COVID-19 causes diabetes or not. So to clear that air up, I have made the small video where I answer the most commonly asked questions as well as misconceptions regarding COVID-19. So let's get started. Now diabetes is a hormonal disease. It is a disease which concerns the hormone insulin. Insulin is a protein hormone which is produced by special cells called beta cells of pancreas. Now there are two types of diabetes, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes and their causes are different. What is the role of insulin? Well insulin controls the blood sugar levels in our body. When blood sugar levels rise after we take food, Insulin basically binds to its receptors which are proteins as shown here. So here is the insulin molecule shown in a blue ball. So when insulin binds to its receptor, it activates a signaling cascade. It activates a pathway wherein it allows the blood glucose to move inside the cells so that it can be metabolized and used to produce energy. That is the whole point of insulin. Insulin regulates blood glucose levels. Its main important function is to reduce blood sugar levels when we undertake a meal so that cells can be fed with glucose. Now in diabetes, this mechanism goes haywire. It gets destroyed. In type 1 diabetes, there is loss of beta cells of pancreas due to autoimmune reasons. The exact cause of this autoimmune defect is not known, but we do know that beta cells of pancreas get lost and we have reduced production of insulin. And these people are dependent on insulin injections for life. The other type that is the more common type of diabetes, it comprises almost 90% of the cases of diabetes. By the way, diabetes is a global disease. It affects about 450 million people worldwide. So in type 2 diabetes, there is first insulin resistance. So the cells stop responding to this signal. This is the first stage in development of type 2 diabetes. The next stage is total lack of insulin later on. So when insulin resistance develops, the blood glucose levels remain high because it cannot enter cells. And because the cells are depleted of energy, they don't have energy, the person feels hungrier. So the person keeps on eating, but he or she is not getting enough energy. And that is the vicious cycle of diabetes. Well, that being said, let's discuss the various questions as well as misconceptions regarding COVID-19 and diabetes. The first is diabetes and risk of COVID-19. Do diabetics have increased or decreased risk of COVID-19? We have limited data to suggest there is either way. So overall, the experts agree that there is no increased risk of COVID-19 for people who have diabetes, whether type 1 or type 2 diabetes. What about risk of COVID-19 complications? Now, this is a serious matter because 25% of the patients who had severe COVID-19 were found to be having diabetes too. So diabetes, although it does not increase your risk of getting COVID-19, but if somebody does get COVID-19, it increases the chance of getting a severe COVID-19 infection. So that is something to be kept in mind. Does COVID cause diabetes? This is a common misconception as well as some rumor uh, going on in social media. This is absolutely false. We don't have any evidence to suggest that COVID actually causes diabetes. What are the precautions for diabetics? So what are the, some of the precautions that diabetic people can take to prevent their exposure to COVID as well as to take care during this pandemic? There are three main precautions. So they are very much similar to the normal COVID appropriate behavior that governments and organizations have been promoting to people. Avoid social gatherings, washing hands frequently, and maintain social distancing. So these are the precautions that diabetics should take. 
it has to be emphasized that diabetics usually also have very weakened immune system and that is likely to contribute to getting COVID-19 complications as well as getting severe COVID-19. So they should be extra careful and almost obsessive about maintaining COVID appropriate behaviors. What if a family member gets COVID? Now, if there is a family where one or two people or more are having diabetes and one of the family members who does not have diabetes gets COVID, what should they do? Well, the first thing they should do is they should isolate that COVID positive person into a single room and only one caretaker should handle all the care for that person so that there is minimum chance of transmission of COVID from that person to the diabetics. So that is the appropriate precaution to take when somebody in your family gets COVID. And what are the steps to take if somebody has diabetes and wants to prevent the chances of getting COVID? Well, there are many steps. Some of them are very similar to precautions for diabetics. So number one is, of course, avoid social gatherings. Big social gatherings are a no-no. You should not do them. Second is, if possible, do exercise at home. Some sort of physical activity will help in maintaining your proper hormone levels as well as regulating your blood sugar levels a little bit properly. Third is to get vaccine as soon as possible. Also washing hands. Wearing a mask. So wear a mask at all times. And also measure your blood glucose levels regularly. So measurement of blood glucose levels is a must for people who have diabetes because their treatment and care will depend upon how carefully the diabetes has been regulated. Okay, so that was my discussion of some of the precautions as well as some of the questions that people might have regarding COVID-19 and diabetes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.